Raising Singaporeans' productivity is a long-term goal, and you can never start too early. Bettering our education system is just one way to achieve that. Primary school students who excel in their studies can now look forward to more schooling choices. The integrated program introduced in 2004 for top students will be expanded to include seven more schools starting 2012 or 2013. They are Victoria School, Cedar Girls School, Catholic High School, CHIJ Saint Nicholas, Singapore Chinese Girls School, Methodist Girls School, and Saint Joseph's Institution. Students in the integrated program skip the O levels and proceed straight to JC to take their A levels. The schools were chosen that we looked at. One had to have a sufficient critical mass of、uh, high ability students who were clearly university bound. That was the sine qua non, if you like, the, the basic eligibility. But we also had to be convinced that the school had the expertise. To mount a program without the intermediate exam, if you like, providing them a sounding board that they were preparing the students adequately or developing them. The seven schools join eleven others, which currently offer the integrated program, such as Raffles Girls School and Hua Chong. With the addition of seven more IP schools, it is projected that the intake of IP students will increase from eight percent to twelve percent. Of the cohort, what the IP expansion meant that we was that we had to create one new JC to exalt students from three schools: Catholic High, Saint Nick, Saint Nicholas, and、um, SCGS,、uh, because there was no natural fit in the existing JC. So we felt that this was an opportunity to create a JC to exalt their year five and year six, as well as to provide.、Uh, op- All opportunities for O-level students who can also articulate into that JC. Students in the normal academic and normal technical streams will also have more options as well. A true train pathway will be offered to the top 10% of normal academic students based on their N-level results. They will be able to enroll in a one-year polytechnic foundation program after their N-levels. For normal technical students, there will be two new specialized schools for them after their PSLE. To prepare them for further studies in IT or employment. Aside from expanding the education system, the Ministry of Education is bettering the pupil-teacher ratio, with 33,000 teachers projected in five years' time, up from the current 30,400. Our strategy also to attract good, strong ability people into the work, into the teaching workforce, is an ongoing one, and we feel that. Professionalizing or providing more opportunities for professional development is a key strategy, and this is the reason why we are starting the Academy for Singapore Teachers and the other aspects, as well as enhancing, looking at ways to enhance the professional development. Remuneration will always be important, but our sensing of Singaporeans is that it's beyond pay. It's about job satisfaction. It's about how to build the ability. What I feel that I'm doing, whether I like the environment. So we are taking a very good, a close look at this, and we'll come up with more, more, more aspects when we are ready. With more teachers and more schooling options, students can look forward to an even more expansive education. We talk about the plans for the new NTU Medical School in the next clip.